Hello everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is episode 12. Last time we collected some eggs and then we also gave a valiant attempt at the uh, the Great Bay Temple. However, the clock's ticking and we're not going to be able to make it home. So we are Song of Soaring ourselves out of here and uh, we're going to go back to Clockwork Town. <laughs> This is our first time using it in a temple, so it actually takes us to the entrance, I guess. Um, we're heading back to Clockwork Town to um, deposit our 200 rupees, and then we're going to restart this damn loop and uh, do it all over again. Um, we can see that there's a chest in this room. The map here, and there's torches to be lit. So let me just see what we get before we leave. I know that everything is going to reset, but we may as well take a look. What do we get? What's in the chest? Ah, our seventh stray fairy. Nice. Okay. Seventh stray fairy. Well, we'll come back and we'll restart the, the whole thing for that, won't we? I need to get on this dude's back. Like he said last episode, we can get out of here. It's a bit too... A bit too far. Too far. So, I need to get out of here. Get out of here. Lulu's no longer here. I wonder where she goes in the final, final countdown. She's just chilling in her room or something. Um, okay. Song of Soaring! Let us go back to Clock Town and then give up all of our belongings. Oh, you know what? Actually... Actually... I'll spend some rupees. I will spend some rupees. Um, I'm gonna go buy the Romani Ranch... Romani Ranch. Uh, map from Tingle just to complete it on the map. The map that I forgot to buy when we actually needed it. When the game was like, hey, if you've got a map, this will be helpful. Uh, just grab something a little, little permanent before we go. Just realize that um, this part of the map is no longer blocked off either. There's, there's not a fence there. Hello, mate. Da, 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 da. We're going to buy the map to Romani Ranch. There you go. Uh, now, we've completed the whole map. There you go. Um, yeah, apparently we can go this way. Since the, uh, the milk crate delivery. Oh. Gorman track. Please inquire at the main gate to the left. So this is the rear gate. If I was to summon a Pona... If I was to summon a Pona, can I jump this gate? A Pona! No! A Pona! No! It's supposed to be... Okay. It's supposed to be on my side. Hang on a minute. I'll summon you here. There you are, girl. So I got uh, two hours. This is fine. Right, here we go. I don't think we have enough of a run-up. Right? I don't 
don't know if we could get enough of a run up here. You have to like spin around in a circle and then hit it and then. Whatever. Whatever. Let's ride it on home. Now this loop is just purely going to be focused on the Great Bay Temple. And then anything else that happens, we'll uh, we'll figure it out when we when we get there. But that'll be our uh, that'll be our third temple down. Just realized I can uh, finally oh Never mind. I thought that the hook shot would would work. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I was like, ah, finally. You know how you can use the hook shot on wood? Fuck me, I guess. Um, did not work. Chest is right at the top there. I was hoping to be able to, um, uh, I guess, yeah. Maybe from here. get myself up to this chest here. What's in it? Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's some rupees. And then, do we reckon that this is going to be rupees as well? It's going to be a waste of rupees. I guess I can just open this in the next loop too. Let's just open it out of curiosity. Oh my god, my face is beaming because it's 50 <laughs> rupees. <laughs> That is an absolute waste. There you go. Now that we have the hook shot, we can uh, get to those chests. Alright, deposit. We've got enough. We've got like 500 rupees in there now, so not exactly strapped for cash. Alright. Reset the loop. Wind back the clock. All right, let's save and return. Um, and now, because we've done the eggs already, and we have the song, I believe we can now just go straight to the temple. Um, so I'll get some arrows, we'll get some bombs, we'll stock up. Dawn of the first day. So I guess we'll have to face off against that wart boss once again. Yeah, so now the chest will just be there now, so we can, we can do this. But now that we can do this, uh, we can also have a chat to this person from this level. Uh, no, I guess we can't, because I can't hook shot over there, can I? <laughs> if I transform into one of these, what happens? Just let me through. He's like, yeah, hey, that's a fish guy. What the hell? Look at that giant fin. What is, what is that? What does that do? like I need to whip out the old tutorial again, because what the hell was that? 
I feel like when you highlight these, it should tell you more about your abilities and what you can do. Um, what was that? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna look this up. Zora Mask Shield Lightning? I don't know how else to describe that. Um, what the hell is that? It's an electric barrier shield. Okay. Um, so you get a shield, but then you also get an electric barrier shield as well. I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind, I suppose. I guess that's, uh, I guess that's gonna have some pretty funky uses to it. Alright, now. Song of Soaring. We've got the, uh, the owl statue that's, like, right by the turtle, the Great Bay Coast. Now, we've already explored uh, a decent amount of the temple. You've already seen that discovery. Um, so that kind of saves a lot of time. Um, this is not where I wanted to go. This is not where I wanted to go. Alright, I guess we'll go from here. It must have been the lower one. The, uh, the other one. That's okay. Close enough, right? Close enough. Yeah, we've already, you know, unlocked quite a few things. We've taken on, like, a mini-boss in there, so... Probably won't do, like... I, I can save us some time instead of doing the, uh, the full run-through. We know which switches to activate now, and where seven of the stray fairies are, at least. I mean, first what we should do is we should check that this even works. We can say sorry to those Zora eggs. Because we're fucking around and doing this instead. Yeah, I definitely have activated this this statue. It must have just been the uh, the lower one. Let me just do this. Come back out because I've got a fairy to catch. Put it in this bottle of mine. Now, the song we're playing is New Wave Boss and Nova. Um, left, up, left, right, down, left, right. I've actually already got it written down in my notes. There you go, that's a handy one. Okay, we are playing this. Very good. And it works. And it works! Imagine if I had to go and get these seven eggs again. The open seas of Great Bay have need of your might. Quickly, climb onto my back. I love that it just skips the whole thing. Skips the whole intro. That turtle's like, bruh, we've done this before. I exist outside of the loop. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's just like, what the fuck's going on? Huh? Huh? All right, we're here. Uh, I guess we get our first stray fairy here. So this time we got enough time. Oh, actually, I got to play the. Uh... Let's slow this. Down. Right. I'm gonna go do exactly what we did in the last loop, and then 
we'll resume from that point on, and anything new that I discover, of course, uh, I will showcase. But we don't need to retread old ground. This is our first time that we're repeating a temple because we didn't complete it in in a loop. So there you go. <laughs> All right, we've, we've pretty much gotten to where we were, give or take. There's a couple of things we've uh, we've yet to do, um, but I'm going to be able to ice arrow across here. So we'll go from here because this is going to be this is going to be new stuff. And also another thing that's really beautiful about this whole swimming thing is while you're swimming, oh, while you're swimming, you can do this thing. Whee! Obviously, it just is a uh, sucker of magical power. However, it's cool. <laughs> You're like, get away from me. Um, and magic power is pretty abundant in this place, which is great. Having a good time. I have taken a little while to adjust to the to the fishing. The fishing. The swimming. <laughs> the swimming. Uh, but it's going well now. It's going quite well, I think. Yeah. Now I can get across here. I really like... Hey, oh. Would you like magic and arrows? And also getting frozen by picking up random rupees that you don't really need? Yes. Melted. Right, so this is a new spot for us. What's in here? Oh. This guy again? Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god. Okay. Hang on. Uh. It's that guy again from Woodfall Temple? Or is it just a different one? <laughs> That's a gecko. It gets itself all worked up and then it just runs around. I hate it. Okay. That doesn't help me. Can I destroy these bot? I can only hit them away? Okay. It's a lot of, uh... Right, hang on a sec. Bombs. Bomb them. Bomb them. Bomb them! Does that work? Whoa. What is going on? Why are they invincible? Oh, what the f... I'm sorry? Just, I'm being annihilated. Let me out. Okay. Oh, he's just gonna do it again? What the fuck? Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Oh, melt that jelly of yours, pal. Oh god, he's coming down. He's coming down. Did it work? I don't think it worked. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm just getting beaten on. Okay. The humiliation ritual of the the jelly man. What the fuck? Oh my god. That doesn't do anything. Oh my god. Okay, hang on a sec. It's giving us magic and arrows. Should we freeze it instead? Oh, you freeze it instead! Ha ha! Oh, and then it shatters! Oh, the bubbles are back though. What the fuck? Can I just get you, please? Okay, I hit him once, and he immediately went back to... <laughs> what? It was ice! It was ice! It was ice, and it shattered and everything! Bro. I need some, um... Oh, fuck. Yeah. That is... Okay. Please work. Okay. That's good. 
I can only hit it once and then it does the bubble again? That's crazy. When does it drop? Where is it? Oh. Okay, so it waits for it's waiting for me to stop. Oh. Okay, hang on. Be careful, you gotta wait for it to Okay. It's a very particular timing. Jesus Christ. Uh, if you do it too early, it'll drop down and then not shatter properly. It's so unfair that I only get to hit him one time and he gets to, like, do some sort of attack where he just wails on me. Oh my god. He just wails on me. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably not a smart idea to do that. It's a good thing I've got a fairy with me. He just threw one at me. This is crazy. Freezing the jelly. Alright, now we wait for it to fall. Get hit by the fall damage. We get hit by the jellies too. God. I gotta watch out for the uh, these invincible jellies. Oh fuck. This is hard, dude. This, this is quite hard, actually. You have invincible jellies. I can only hit him once, and he does a whole fucking crazy attack on me. That's nuts. At least we uh, we have this of like what we can do. But oh my god, this, this is difficult. Especially trying to avoid damage here with these, um, wounds. How many times do I gotta hit this guy? I'm beginning to doubt uh, doing the, if I'm doing the right thing. I am hitting him, so it's definitely doing damage, but... I guess we just... This, we're in a rinse and repeat game. Surely he'll give up at some point. Surely it'll be enough. Damn, alright. Well, we, we have this now, I guess, in terms of supposed to be doing but yeah damn <laughs> I just when will it end when will it end stop the torture this, bro, this guy yes you're a frog. That's what happened in Woodfall Temple, isn't it, as well? Oh my god, now they just... They melted. I believe that's what happened. In my Majora's Mask notes, I have frog locations here. Woodfall Temple, in the Gecko Room, there's a frog. So this is a, a second one. Then the boat ride to Deku Palace. Laundry? Oh, laundry pool. Why do they write Laundry Palace? That's not right. Uh, Mountain Village, and now... Um, we're also in the Great Bay Temple Gecko Room. <laughs> Another frog. You gotta keep note of these. Um, what the hell? <laughs> Annoying. Annoying little guy. Annoying creature. Okay. So that's that. Uh, nothing to be done in this room. It's been defeated. I guess we go... Uh, we're going into another door. Now we're over this side, because now I can get this bad boy. Very nice. We have the boss key. And then 
I guess all of these rooms are accessible by switching the water the other the other way around. That's sort of what we're going for. Ah, there is a hook shot. There it is. Nice. I'm like, this hole must allow me to get out. Get me out of here. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to go and reverse the water flow. Um, one of the only things that we haven't done in this loop is I haven't defeated Wart, because Wart was how we got the ice arrows, but we already have the ice arrows, so... Um, well, Wart already gave us the ice arrows, so we don't actually need to, to do that. Fairy. Got a fairy. Give me a U. Hey, fairy. Nice. So we'll reverse the water flow, we'll be able to go that way. Run! Okay, now I'm gonna go. Where am I? Oh yes, I know which way I'm going. I know which way I'm going. Put the Zora mask go for a swim. Alright, now time to go reverse the water. No, my left and rights in this place still it's a little bit all over the place, but for the most part. Much more efficient second go, because you're like, alright, I know exactly where to go. <laughs> I can already go and stun the Octorox with the ice arrows and make the ice platform, so I don't have to worry about that, which is nice too. It's good that there are, like, the things that do carry over make repeat visits, um, great. I don't have to worry about, like, ah, I gotta defeat the wart boss again. <laughs> I don't think I'll have to defeat the gecko. I'll have to defeat the gecko again when I figure out what this frog thing is. That we've kept track of. Alright, so we're gonna switch to the water, and then that room that we were in last episode with the seesaws, um, I have not ventured in there this loop yet. So that's what we're gonna do now. Reverse! seven more stray fairies while we're at it, so I expect that those will be the fairies that we find in the new rooms that we can explore. Room that we want to go in because now which which is are we doing? I think we're chasing the green one. We're we doing the green switches now, so we're gonna go into this bottom room, I guess. Oh, hang on, that's where the green is coming from. Okay, why not? Let's just, we'll go in and find out. We'll go in and find out. 
let's go down this way. Very nice. Sucked out wherever this takes us. Back in here. Worth it. Just to get the ferry real quick. I don't think we've been in this room. Yeah, there's another one. We haven't been in this room actually. So there you go. Now we're we're in a mixture of uh, uncharted territory, and then I did. Obviously, we were in that seesaw room last time, and I haven't been there this time. I need a good angle at this fairy. There you go. I could have shot it with an arrow from that little gap too, I guess. Come here, you. Come here. Uh, the ten. Yeah. Oh, there's the uh, that's the boss room. Okay. Um. All right. Let's flick this bad boy. However, we need to go somewhere else. It's only one of them. Right, so we have water flow, and then I guess that's how we get across to the boss room. Alright. Okay. Now let's go into the next green one. For us, that'll be this one here. I've missed it. Expert swimmer over here. Expert swimmer. There we go. So we go this way. Oh! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Jesus god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the humiliation <laughs> of the grab there was crazy, actually. It threw me right into the other one. That's fucking crazy. The only thing I need to find the uh, the source of that green. I need to take it back to the source. The green's coming from there, but also the yellow is coming from there. And then, oh, I realize what I can fucking do now, stupid. I don't know why this didn't click for me. I don't know why this didn't click for me. I was like, we gotta figure out to get some way to turn this water off quick. I'm like, you stupid guy. You stupid little guy. All right, here we go. Um, we'll progress. This way. Me consistently freezing water without issue comes to another thing with water. Huh? Sorry, I just wasn't thinking about this one. Guess what? Get frozen. Just doing things out of order, of course. It's fine. Okay, so that's frozen. I can now go up here. I've already I've done the green switches now, so I guess everything's just gonna go and fall into place. Give me a U. Hey, hey.
Because the yellow water is going to flow no matter what. Um, is there a fairy in here? There's got to be. There is. Let's go and look for a fairy. Uh, there's a chest in here, so maybe we're going to kill all the enemies or something. These fish always appear, don't they? They keep respawning. Just gotta make sure. Pots destroyed. I guess we could go and kill this other one. Yeah. Hey, get away from me. Oh, it's, the, it's a big one. That's why. Kill the big one. Oh, it just stuns it? Okay. Get over here, you. I'm gonna get you too. Yes, you wait till my boomerangs get here. Okay. okay so I guess it's just it's rupees and an entrance up there. Okay. Ice arrow time. Let me up. Oh, oh, that's just so rude. Try again. One at a time this time. How about that? A little bit too close. A little bit too close there, guy. Okay, okay. Let's just let's get this working, shall we? Let's keep the good vibes going. Alright, water flow time. It's all gonna flow now. Alright, now the water is just it's just going. Is there a thing that we can uh, hook shot onto to get up here? There it is. There it is. Let me in, please. Okay, that's um, that's disrespectful. Okay. I think what I'm gonna have to do this is gonna be this is gonna take some precise shooting and positioning. Okay. I think or maybe I'd right, forget about that one. I think I can there we go. I'm in! A little bit of ice. I'm up. We did it. Give me that. Nice. Alright. 
my eleventh one. Whee. Okay, now the green water has been activated from here, so it's all flowing. Um, so I suppose I gotta try. I guess now I should probably check up on it, huh? Where does the green? I gotta follow the green all the way to the uh, to its end now. Because uh, yeah, I guess that water will be working, and then I can get across to the boss room. Still, some rooms that I've yet to figure out chest-wise. Those last four remaining chests will be the last four remaining stray fairies. Um, so let's just head to the head to the boss room. Get that get that sorted, and then from there, from there we're good. I see a chest over here. Because we've got our two chests in this room. I can only just see the one up there, so what am I going to do? Let's drop onto here. Ah, we got a torch. Torch here, there you go. Chest! There's our twelfth one. Probably should have done the upper one first, but that's how I can get to these. I was looking for a stray fairy in a bubble. I realized that was my mistake. It's in a chest. So I think by standing on the uppermost section of the water wheel, you should be able to hook shot to the chest. Oh, I can just get on. I didn't think I could walk on there. there you go. I thought that would be too steep of an angle. Nice. 13th fairy. That's not going to happen. Alright, so we've got a chest in here, and I. We've got to get this. We, we simply must. So we're, gonna, we're gonna try for this again. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm supposed to be on there. I've realized my mistake. I think we got this. I think we got this. that I believe I was making is I was too short and now I'm not too short yeah I'm not, I'm not too short anymore nice there we go drop down here empty empty that's shocking okay why were they even there nice Fourteen. Now, it's this last one? Hmm. Okay. There's a hole... Oh no, hang on. That's not a fairy, because... 
that is the chest that's taking on Wart, and we've already been there, and I and there was not a fairy there, which means the fairy is a bubble one. It's not in a chest. It's in an undisclosed location. It's an undisclosed location one. Um. something under the seesaw. I swear I checked this last episode and I tried this. Um, oh my lord. The final fairy. Alright. Take them to their fellow fairies of the same color. Oh. Okay. Underneath. That's a, that's a cruel one. I swear I looked under there and it must be because I wasn't thinking in Zora mode. Well, there you go. Uh, that's all the fairies. Uh, now we can go to the boss room with the boss key. What a temple part two, huh? Okay. Now what we have to do is we go into the, the proper room with the, with the green pipe. Way. Okay, so, uh, is this the one on this level? Yep. Okay. Can't wait. We've, we're faced off against this wart and this gecko with some weird stuff. Now we find out what weird mechanic the actual boss of this temple is going to want us to do. <laughs> Let's find out. What do you got? And I don't have. <laughs> I do not have a fairy with me, so we gotta be, we'll be careful. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm just diving in, am I? Again. <laughs> I can't wait to be out of here so I don't have to listen to hitting pipe sound effects. Alright. Oh my lord, it's a gargantuan masked fish, Georg! Georg! Okay. Um. Well, hang on. Oh! Well, don't do that. That's rude. Hang on. What if it... Is it going to go above me again? And then I'll uh, do a bit of this. Did that, did that work? Did that work? Oh. Um, it looks not too good. <laughs> did I... I think that might have worked. Let me tattle. If you go near it now, you'll be eaten. Aim at it from afar and weaken it. Okay. Does that work? Yeah, I think I hit it and it was like, ow, oh, cheese. When it goes over, I can do a bit of that. When it's down here, I can do a bit of this. 
Oh. Oh, don't eat me. Don't eat me. Ah! Ooh! Okay. It ate me. I, I see now. I apologize. Okay. I could also shoot it with arrows. Where are you? Okay. I don't know what it's going to do. Ah, confirmed. The, uh... There you go. Okay. No, 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 no. No. Get up. Bubbles. That helps. Yeah, that hits it. That for sure hits it. And then maybe not like fire arrows, but just like normal arrows. I don't know if that's doing anything. moment I'm of the mentality that I'm hitting it and doing damage but it might just be stunning it and leaving it open for an attack oh fuck get up get up get up, get up. I'm a little bit unsure at this time because that Screams to me that that's an opportunity to attack it because it's stunned, but then I'm leaving myself very vulnerable to get eaten. So if I was to now go down here and then. Okay, that does. Okay. Then I'm I'm very 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 vulnerable to getting eaten. <laughs> and I tried I tried swimming, and for some my character was just like, nah. That's not what I want. I need hearts. Okay, so we got magic jars. Oh, I've been eaten. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get killed. That does not do anything to it either. Okay. I'm a little... Yeah, I should have had a fairy planned. Should have had a fairy for this. This is, this is a tough one. Did I get it or not? I didn't even get it. He did not care. Down. Uh. Now I'm dead. Oh, I just I just died from it recovering. All right, that's uh, fine. <laughs> okay, just died from it getting back up. Okay, the good news is um, I believe we can just go straight there. Uh, I'm gonna go get the I'm gonna go get the fairy so I can at least have some backup here. And we're going to try again. All right, let's give this, uh, let's give this another go. Um, I think, considering that the, uh, the barrier gives us arrows, I think we want to be stunning it with the arrows instead of boomerang fins. Then we have to go down and do damage to it. So it can't be damaged until it's stunned. So I think we just we just have to be quick. No. 
gargantuan masked fish, Georg. Alright, so let's go for this. Yeah, that stuns it. Okay. That stuns it. Now we go down. We go down. Okay. Now I can damage it, and then we have to run away and not get eaten. Alright, that's the plan. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, we now have <laughs> we now have the, the what we should be doing. Do not eat me. Oh, now that was cheeky. invulnerable and then you can uh, probably uh, I just missed the uh, I missed the magic jar uh, all right miss the magic jar try again stressful boss eh Water and it's gonna fucking it's gonna get me because I'm diving for some reason. <laughs> fucking big fish. Right. And this is what we prepped fairies for. <laughs> get underwater. Come on. Okay. Oh, what? Dead. What are you doing? Are you kidding? Are you joking? Wait, it's still. It shoots out. Okay. It shoots out a bunch of fish. <laughs> and then also eats me as well. Do I have to do anything about this? Because they'll. Yeah, they're attacking me too. They just drop rupees. Fun. Nope. Get back up. They're just gonna give arrows. Punk! <laughs> you stupid fish! Okay. Quick, get, catch it in a bottle! Okay, there you go. <laughs> I got the fish mask. There we go. <laughs> what was the deal with those small fish? God damn. That was, uh... Not a, not a frustrating fight. My frustration came from uh, more so the tension of and trying not to get caught. So it comes out as like, ah, you fucking stupid fish. You know what I mean? Um, I think that was a pretty fun fight. <laughs> it's just, it's also stressful. <laughs> I was like, ah! <laughs> right, give me that, harpies. Give me that. I've seized Georg's remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept imprisoned within the body of evil Georg. Nice. All right, the Great Temple Bay Temple complete. Um, we gotta go find those stray. Uh, we gotta fi find the fairy fountain. Got these things. I <laughs> just. Hey, listen! 
We want you to lend us your power. If you just leave things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Surely you're the only ones who can stop it. That's what Teo was trying to tell us. Help! I get it, we have to help the last one! Then promise us this, you'll cooperate with us. Oath to order, almost ready. Oh, 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 oh. Now I can continue resting in peace. I too must abide the laws of ancient times and again merely watch from my deep slumber. But the evil that haunts this land has not completely vanished, Link. I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods can permit that. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so... Um, we also have, like, Lulu who still disappeared. She's like... She's like, what's going on? So we got to figure out where she is. She might have... Well, maybe the maybe the concert's still on, but then all the other band members are here. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh, they're out here. They're all out here now. I guess because we've completed the temple. Oh. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lulu. Please come to our concert in town. They're gonna do the concert. I guess I'll have to go speak to Toto and the Gorman troop too. If you want an autograph, I'll give you one after our rehearsal. Who's this guy. I've written a great song, so just be patient. We've kept you waiting just a little bit longer. We'll play our hot sound for you. Guess what? The final band member is showing up. Here he is. You're late, Macau. Where were you while you were? Where were you while you were skipping practice? Lulu's been waiting for you. Why is this so specific? You did great, Macau. Lulu's voice has returned. Well, it looks like Lulu wants to talk to you, so go see her now. What have you been doing? You're late, Macau. Oh, look, guess what? Lulu's voice, she's gotten her back. Macau, you came back safely. That's good. I was surprised when my voice turned that lonely island into a turtle. But that song you played for me, my mother used to sing it often long ago. All those eggs were laid to remind me of that. That song was from when I was a very young child, so I had forgotten it. I put you through some horrible experiences, Macau. But I'm all better now. Well, the town's concert is very soon. Let's start our rehearsal. Oh god, here we go. One. Two. Three. I guess being able to sing is a wonderful thing after all. And with that, we're ready. I can't wait for the town's concert. Hey, Macau. That song Evan wrote sounds like just like the one we played at our jam session, doesn't it? Wait, wait a minute. What do you mean? I'm glad I got this new song done in time for the concert. You did great, Macau. Even without any practice. You really are a musical genius. It sounds like the jam session. That doesn't make any sense. 
Okay. Interesting. Okay, that's done. I guess I could have done the, the, the lights for the, uh, the rehearsal to turn the torches on. Okay. Now that that's done, regain my composure. We gotta go and figure out where this uh, fairy fountain is. Where is this fairy fountain? It's gotta be nearby, so. I should have a look at these chests too. We'll start from here. Can I hook shot my way over to those palm trees? fish you can't hold onto bombs. Oh! <laughs> so, yeah, forget that you get your bomb shoes this way, don't you? Uh, yeah. Almost at the night of the second day. I'll be able to go back and do the sound check for um for Toto, but then we can I guess we can also tell him the good news that the show's gonna go ahead, so that might change things with um ah! Oh my god. You God damn bird. Alright, um Go to the milk bar. Do the sound check with uh with Toto and tell him about the good news and I think that'll that'll help. <gasps> Fucking bird attack! Okay. Now I'm just doing flips for the hell of it. Just not enough time in the day. Even with the slowed down time. Okay. First things first. Get out of here, you. Get out of here. None of that. 36 hours remain. Let's see what this chest is. But if this ends up being a powder keg thing and not a bomb thing, I'm gonna be upset. Thank God. Okay, where's the where's the chest? Oh, the chest is underwater. In we go. Um, boulder blocking a cave. Yes, nice. Very good. Fairies return. Nice. One more great fairy to be put back together again. Oh, courageous young one, I'm the great fairy of Curry!
courage. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall lend you my strength. <laughs> Oh, nice. It's like the one in Ocarina where you... Uh, we essentially have double health now. That would have been nice against that boss, wouldn't it? That's going to be nice when we do the boss rush to get all four of them in one loop. Your defense has been strengthened. Enemies now do half as much damage as before. Come see me whenever you are overcome by weariness. Nice. And now we have... Essentially double health. Um, I do absolutely love how cute Link is when he just like waves at things. He like waves goodbye at the fairy or waves goodbye at the great turtle. It's so fun. Um, is the chest underwater? It is underwater. Oh, nice. I'm beaming positively. Um... Right, now that we've done that, I think what I would like to do... Um, oh yeah, we got to try and figure out how to get to the beavers. And they've got a whole water bottle scenario. Water bottle. Yeah, just an empty bottle. Uh, I think now that I have hookshot and also ice arrows, I think that's going to... I was really hoping I'd be able to roll past that. Um, ice arrows and a hook shot. Fuck off. You prolapsed ass. I can hook shot up here. And I'm uh, assuming that I can freeze the waterfall with ice arrows. Yeah. I'll try to return to Clock Town at 10 p.m. Because that's the uh, that's when the milk bar will be open. Yeah, all these chests end up getting pretty useless when you know that they're just going to be rupees. Maybe I don't have to freeze the waterfall after all. Now, what's in here? Our beavers. The waterfall rapids. Oh god, what? <laughs> they use their little fins as propellers. Oh my god. Okay. Oh wow, this is a big area. Okay. Can I talk to him? Oh, I've locked on to you and... Okay. Let's go have a meeting at the... <laughs> hey there, mate. Hello. You again! You can't fool me with your green clothes! You want an empty bottle, don't you? You never learn your lesson! Coo coo coo! Okay, I'll give you one, but... Only if you can swim through all the rings in the river in under two minutes! Oh my... Okay. So, do you want to try? Sure. There's a total of 20 rings! You must swim through them in the right order for it to count. Swim through the ring that's flashing! I'll show you the way, so follow me and don't get separated! Oh mine. Oh man! My Quidditch practice in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Here we go. Oh, it's a solid ring too. Fucking hell. I thought it was going to be like a little bit lenient, where you could like... You know, you know like this, and like a little energy ring. Like Spyro, you know? Oh god, I have to... I'm going to be bad at this. I'm gonna be bad. My, my Quidditch practice has not paid off. Those were magic rings. This is different. Right. It was just that first ring, guys. This is the first one. I'm 
not stressed at all. I have a minute left, you don't need to beep at me. That just makes things more stressful. If I'm if I'm keeping up with the beaver, I think I'm okay. We just had a rocky start as I uh, saw that the rings are not uh, opaque, transparent. You know, you gotta go right through that physical ring. Oh, the moon. Easy. I never even doubted myself for a second, dude. Quidditch. Oh my god, this this design is very scary to look at. Um, what were they doing when they designed this guy? <laughs> oh, why does he look like a goddamn high-end PC with the RGB fan? Get it off. That was perfect. That's not good. Oh Jesus. Did you call me, little brother? I called you, big brother. Actually... What? An empty bottle? Yeah, an empty bottle. Don't worry, little brother. To us, empty bottles are a treasure. I can't give you one just because you beat my little brother. We can't just give you one. I'll give you one after you... Oh. I'll give you one after you race once more against me. So, will you try? Sure. The rules are the same. <laughs> this time there are 25 rings. Don't fall behind. <sighs> Majora's Mask hates me, dude. Okay. Okay, this, this first ring is the one that really fucks me. Alright, now we're good. It's never, never that simple, is it? Never that simple. Get these rings. Now get them again, but more. Right. He did it, little brother. Yeah, he did it, big brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. This is a mess, big brother. Yeah, screw you, beavers. We underestimated you. Oh, God. Alright, I came here for a bottle and I got it. Look at these guys. He's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, big brother. But we don't have any more empty bottles, do we, little brother? No, we don't have any, big brother. If you say you still want to race, though, that's fine. Oh, never again. The way out is over there. Get me out of here. <laughs> I'm good. Um, that's enough for me. Um, 
Okay, so it's not even a big map or a big area, it's just a lot of uh, racing that we did both tries first try. Thank you very much. Um, okay. I now have five out of six bottles. Um, we're going home! Song of Soaring. We are going home. Um, and we're gonna go to the milk bar and we're gonna be like, yo, what's up? We got the Indigo Goes back together. That's all that I can really think to, to do immediately after doing this because it's like directly tied to the whole thing being cancelled. I guess Toto... I don't know what they're going to be doing on day three. It should be different now because the, the show is going to go ahead, right? So, um, and then we can do go do the sound check. Let's see what happens. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, I'm busy. Well, guess what? You're about to be not busy soon. So, can we go in before 10 with the mask as Gorman's about to? You bastard. What makes you able to go in without it being open? I will wait for 10. I'll take this moment to take a quick break, and then we'll go in. Ah, you remember. Please, come in. I'm in. Here we go. Okay, so, Toto's here. We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though. Just want to see what it would have been like. Hey, you! Could you help me with a performance? Weird. Okay, so apparently uh, the show is still considered to be cancelled. Maybe word just hasn't reached Toto's ears yet, you know? Or maybe you have to just be super quick, um, beat the boss day one, then the show could potentially go ahead again. I don't know. Alright, well, we can do the sound check at least. Um because we've got all the instruments, because we have the Zora Mask now. Gonna do a nice little healthy sound check. I guess Toto and the Gorman Troop will not be happy after all. I guess they'll be happy once we complete the sound check, I suppose, considering the book has... Like, we're able to do stuff for them on day two and that's it. Um, so let's just... Front left. Beep, 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 beep. That feels good. It's very interesting doing this sound check with different instruments, but having it like our appearance is, uh, as a different person is saved. Alright, rear left. Doom, 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 doom. And then, the finale! It's missing the secret sauce! That feels good. The gig 
Avatar. Here we go. Full show. It's their old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. That's the song that members of the previous generation of the Indiegogos made famous. I entered show business because I heard this song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer who's also named Lulu. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please, take my mask. Oh, what? <laughs> Why? Why is he a mask? You got the circus leader's mask. The mask looks so sad it could put a tear in even a demon's eye. Oh god, what am I what do I have to use this for? I put a tear in a demon's eye. I wear this and then um <laughs> This is how I defeat Skull Kid. You saw the tears of the circus leader Gorman added to your notebook. Um, did that fix Toto's thing too? What the f People related to Gorman will react to this. So I could go to the Gorman brothers. I could go to the rest of the troop. Okay. Oh, yep. They're both done. Alright. Thanks for moving Gorman with song. And, yeah. Okay, so they both have the same quest. It's kind of weird that they're both the same, but I guess it's because the two characters are tied together for the sound check. Hmm. We're getting pretty close, though. I guess the Gorman brothers will just react to it, because they'll just go, ah, because I've already completed their thing. Don't know who this is? Uh, Grammy has something going on. And the mayor has something going on. And then it's the, the cafe and Andrew. This is so funny, like, episode two. I'm like, all right, guys, we're going for the cafe and Andrew quest line. <laughs> and it's, it's like the most involved. And then Curiosity Store Man will have something at the end of his day uh, also. Getting there. It's very satisfying. Very satisfying indeed. However, that is going to be where we bring this episode of Majora's Mask to a close today. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode of us clearing out the Great Bay Temple and performing a little sound check. Apparently the show is still cancelled. I was thinking that might have changed something. Um, but maybe uh, it just doesn't work out because of the days. I am not sure. Uh, next time... We'll maybe have a poke around with this uh, with this Gorman mask and see what can be done. And then I also still want to know what the hell's going on with the mask of sense. We haven't really gotten a use out of that yet. Um, you just heighten your sense of smell. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure it'll come up in some way, shape or form. Uh, at some point. Uh, but I do hope that you enjoyed this episode of Majora's Mask, and I will see you next time for more.